Dude, I just fucking shot off like a thousand trophies at a moment in a moment there. That was really sick. Hold on. Over here, bud. Nope. Nope. Can't go over here. Oh. Huh. Okay. Guess I can't. Oh. See, bestseller? No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. <laughs> yeah. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Okay. Okay. The other guy. Do 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 do. That was cool. That was fucking so sick. I love that so much. <laughs> hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm Ooh, always no. right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'm so old. Let's open that, please. This Viking crap, didn't they? Hold on. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. <laughs> oh, it's the boat, the ship. Oh shit, that's awesome. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. That was cool. Oh. Oh. Sleep. Oh, oh, night spring. Man, somewhere it's between that memory. Fantasy and hey, remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? <laughs> your first real writing job. In night spring. Tonight's episode. Yeah, that's by someone else. <laughs> okay, I like that a lot. I grab that? Okay, yeah, I did. I like that. That was funny. Looked imposing, <laughs> almost like a battering ram. Ah. Uh huh? else behind me bitch fuck bitch jesus well, fuck that motherfucker go where you go? Oh fuck. I don't know where you went. Unload the clip. Unload that fucking clip on his ass. Let's go. Now what's in here? Anything? Anything? Probably shouldn't run into those, huh? Alright. Get the shotgun out. Oh, fuck. Oh, bullshit, bitch.
Uh huh. Yeah. Fuck. That was on me. That was, that was totally on me. Fuck. Not do that again. How about that? I don't like switching out my flashlight. I'm going to be real honest. I hate, I hate switching out my flashlight. How'd you get over here? Barry's the strongest person in the game. Or in the story as well. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Are you? Good luck with that, pal. <gasps> hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Be careful, Al! No. Oh, I have all the... Yeah, dude, they really... Mm-hmm. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? At some point, you just gotta... You just kind of expect it to happen now. You know what I mean? I need to... Yeah, we gotta go flare, just in case. that sound wonder if they're gonna jump scare me here Ooh. okay as you regular listeners know I tend to through the night but Did it. I'm not the only one deputies Mulligan and Thornton taking a couple nice. of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Pretty busy. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. All right. And, uh, <laughs> I don't care that much. Disturbances. A lot of people going missing, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? Yeah, okay. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home at the other side of the V. It wasn't far now. I wasn't oh. worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric rats. They had the goods. Yeah, kick that shit open. Kick that shit open, Al. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Six. 
Where are you at? I can't even see you. something over here? Is that why he knocked it over? Wonder. No. Okay. Just making sure. See if there's anything. You know? You never know. Next time on Alan Wake. Alan says, oh shit, I'm fucked. What's oh, Valhalla? Cute. Oh fuck, was he supposed to knock that over? Oh wait, no. Why'd you do that? Oh my god, was he supposed to... Uh oh. Oh wait, I'm supposed to open the door for Barry. <laughs> Oops. I had to get the harvester, you know? Okay. Can that open? No. Oh, maybe that's why that was open. Anything in here? Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense now. Nice. You gonna get me now? You guys gonna come get me? Ah, uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. Yeah, dude, let's go. Can we just open this now? I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. We did it. <laughs> we fucking did it. I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. Is it? This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Hmm. Doesn't feel like an end. I'm gonna be real honest. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't like that. Around. I guess we better check the fuse box. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. Stairs right quick. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the What does that say? Hatch. Old gods know the truth. Okay. Old gods know the truth, huh? reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Yes, yeah, Lady, Lady, Lady of the Light. I, I gotta look at stuff. Like, pick up coffee thermoses. Damn, dude. They're fucking rocking out in here, bro.
I didn't mean to do that. I had to adjust. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Come on, Barry. I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? No, oh, you're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, could and you? they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the oh recipe <laughs> off those coots and be a, oh my. A, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. Oh no, I just <laughs> we're at that stage. Here with me. I know, Al. I know. What are those but pants? We're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. What the fuck? Oh my god. The hell? It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! Oh. I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Ooh. Okay. I like this a lot. This is cool. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Go up. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. 
There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. What? No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zang was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. And this is what happened here. Okay, this is the start of the game. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Damn. That was awesome. That was an awesome ending to that chapter. Holy shit. That was cool. Damn. Damn. That was awesome. That was the best chapter so far in this game. That shit was awesome. Previously All right. Alan Wake. This is the end. Under this is the end of the stream. The presence, we're going to watch this part. I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Yeah, sounds like H. John Benjamin. <laughs>